test. All right. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hi. Blah, cool. Blah. As soon as the mic went live, I had the extreme urge to cough. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, yeah, it does. All right, you should take time countdown. After last year, three different people did the countdown for your game. And Can we gong? I don't think they'll let us gong. Nah. Should I ask? No. Just leave it. It'll be worth it if we can. All right. All right, so first of all, this is done on easy because there's really no reason to play on normal. Uh, I can explain that later soon. So, the so once this saves, I'll be ready to start. So everything is good? All right, three, two, one, go. All right, so this is Uncharted. I think if you haven't seen this run, you might not understand why it's being speed run. But uh, you'll, you'll realize pretty soon this game is incredibly broken, and uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, just to introduce everyone, I'm Oven Donkey. I speedrun Uncharted. I'm playing Madness. I speedrun Pikmin. And I'm Ari2929, and I speedrun Mirror's Edge. Yep. And then we have Hacker Boy over here sitting on the other side of the couch. He's hanging out. Um, so this first chapter here, there's really nothing too special. I'm just going to kind of kill everyone, because that's what you do in Uncharted. And... Uh, and then it's kind of just on a timer. And then once we get into chapter two, it gets pretty weird. And speaking of parts of the game that are sort of slow and on a timer, um, it's really hard to hear the donation like microphone from the couch. So I just want to apologize in advance if any of us don't hear something or talk over the donation. That's um, because we can't hear it. Speaking of, we have a $25 donation from Potato Handle. The Uncharted series has seen some amazing new speedrun tricks in the last year, and Oven's about to show you all the best of them. Best of luck, Oven. Donkey Gong, Donkey Gong. Donkey I'll, Gong. <laughs> I'll put this money towards defeating Kappa in Boshi so that it never appears in chat again, Kappa. Um, so yeah, as you see here, there's really just, um, you know, just killing people. And, uh, there's like one more group of people that are gonna climb on the boat, and then we just wait till the level ends. You want to talk about the save file? Yeah. Um, so you may have noticed when I started this, um, I played with a save file. I don't know if you've seen a run of this before. You probably saw it without a save file, just because it loads a little bit faster. But if something were to happen, like the game freezing, then I would have no save file to continue from and uh, I wouldn't be able to finish the run, and that would be bad. <laughs> um, also, the thing about this game is that you can pretty much clip through what, like, any wall in the game. So okay. Since I'm just waiting for the level to end, I'll just, you know, I'll just come in here. <laughs> We're now in the boat. The boat doesn't have a floor. Not really supposed to be here. Um, so you'll, you'll see me clip through pretty much everything in this game, and it'll, it'll be pretty cool. And then uh, once we get into the next chapter, I'll kind of explain uh, the movement system. Because um, it'll, look, it'll look kind of strange, because the, the fastest way to move into this game is uh, to jump repeatedly. And uh, the jumping animation is uh, not the most pleasant thing to look at. <laughs> I believe we call it prancing. Oh, hold on. That's what it looks like. Hold on, kid. I'm not as young we as have I'm a just... $20 notation from Just Missed, AGDQ Fighting. I feel like everyone knows the pain that cancer has caused so many people around the world. All right, so it forces us to walk here at the beginning of the chapter while they're talking. There's not really much I can do about that. But then uh, it lets me uh, go free here. So yeah, this is what it'll look like when I'm running normally. Uh, this is the fastest way to move. Uh, <laughs> when I'm in combat, for some reason, uh, Nathan runs a lot faster while he's being shot at. So. If there are enemies around, I'll just be running normally, which is a little better. And then if I'm going upstairs, it's fast just to roll up them. That's just how it is. And uh, up ahead here, I'm going to try a trick that might not work. It's really nothing special, but uh, it's fast if it happens. There's like a wall up here, 
And uh, if I roll into it, there's a chance I'll just roll up the wall and uh, get to where I need to go. And it, I, I don't like this trick because it's pretty much completely random. I can just roll here, and I might roll up it. We'll try it a little bit more to the and left in between the two vines. That's where I got it earlier today. Yep. Oh, yeah, and uh, so, yeah, play Madness here is pretty much... Oh. Oh, oh, you I got guys. <laughs> okay. That's pretty rare for me. <laughs> so I, that's the only time in a run you'll see a trick like that, so I thought I'd try it just in case it happened, and it did. And uh, yeah, Play Madness here is the only other person here, as far as I know, that has uh, actually played this game uh, with the speedrun tricks. Uh, originally, um, all, Fi Fi was also supposed to be here, Fire Dragon, but he had to leave, unfortunately, so uh, he won't be here for this run. He's here in our hearts, though. We, we still think about you every day. So we have a $500 donation from Hello Cake Bread. 100K. Thanks for everything. $100,000. Wow. <laughs> um, so yeah, here you'll see me start to do the main trick of this run, which is to just <laughs> vibrate through the wall. And you'll see this like a hundred times in this run. It's, it's, it's what completely shattered this game, and it's... Uh, it's it's pre it's pretty broken. Uh, if you've played, <laughs> okay, that, that was a thing. Um, <laughs> if you've played Uncharted One, you probably realize that this game is incredibly heavy-handed with its combat, and that's a big reason why this is like no one's favorite Uncharted game. But luckily, with these uh, clips, I get to skip probably 90% of the combat in this game which is great. And also, like, if you can't tell uh, exactly how he's doing that, you basically just put the wall sort of behind you and to the left, then push the control stick behind you and to the left and press the Wait, either the aim down sight so button or the inspect button over and over again, and you eventually just slide through pretty much any ver uh, vertical surface in the game. Yep. Yeah, so it works with the inspect button, which is L2, and also the uh, L1, which aims your gun. So, completely forgot to explain how that works. <laughs> um, also here, if you play this, uh, the camera is supposed to like be behind me, and you're supposed to see all this cool stuff falling and collapsing behind me, but uh, not 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 here. I made it. I'm okay. Also, the game's dialogue triggers get a little confused when you're skipping between them. So we're pretty much almost done with the second chapter. Uh, there are 22 chapters in this game, and uh, they'll start to go really fast when we get into the last half of the game. We will not be seeing all of them. Yeah, we, we'll skip some chapters entirely. We have a $25 donation from Vexaton. I'm going to be gone all day at work, so I'm making this donation now. Been watching the annual streams that they've come out on YouTube since I never found out that they were ongoing. So I'm really happy that I got to see a live this time. My mom had uterus cancer, and I know know what it's like to have someone in your family going through that. Thankfully, she survived because of quick treatment and discovery. Here's to another year of cancer research and to run a guy blindfolded through Ocarina of Time. Here's. So what we just saw was the first instance of uh, using the wall clip trick to go through an invisible wall. Uh, the wall doesn't have to be like textured or visible or like tangible in the game to, to be broken by this glitch. It's just anything that uh, has collision and is vertical you can go through. Yeah. And also I'm standing here because if I move forward too fast at this point, the game will actually freeze. So I'm waiting for um, a certain, like the, if the, when the lighting changes here, I'll know it's safe to continue like that. Um, if I just ran to into this checkpoint earlier, I would have to have reset my console, which wouldn't be that fun. And also I'm in the submarine now. Okay. So. <laughs> um, I don't know why that checkpoint is there, because that's nowhere near where I spawn. But yeah, that's Uncharted. It's, it's a pretty weird game. And this would be a great time for donations, because I'm just going to walk through this sub for a couple minutes. We have a $20 donation from Covert Madness. Good luck to Oven Donkey from me and all the other Uncharted boys. Here's to not hard locking the game and may your enemies always be shooting at you. Here's to all the runners at this great event. 
we have a $50 donation from Mad Cow. My dad died two years ago at the young age of 47 cancer. Absolutely none of the three years of treatment worked whatsoever. Proof enough this is needed, I think. Thanks for all of the great work and good luck. We have a $100 donation from Jared Zero. When I was a child, I was diagnosed with cancer, but luckily I received the correct care and I am now cancer free. However, I was left with an almost useless hand, but my video game obsession acted like a physical therapy and gave me back the use of my hand. I am now a healthy 25 year old, all thanks to cancer research saving my life and video games helping me recover. Cancer sucks. Video games are awesome, and so are you guys. Keep it up. We have a $550 donation, $555 donation from Musty the Fox. <laughs> so exhausted, but I had to stay up for Oven Donkey's run. Keep up the good work, everyone. $550, and he mentioned you by name. That's awesome. And uh, that's probably, uh, this, I'm out of the submarine now, so that's, that's that. Um, so now enemies actually show up, and I'm going to be killing some of them, but I'm going to try to ignore as many as I can. Uh, I'm, I am on easy difficulty, like I said at the beginning, but it's still really easy to die in this game. The, the difficulty really only changes how much damage the enemies do to me, and not by much, because... Uh, I can still get wrecked pretty quickly. I'm gonna try to clip through here. Um, I'm using a for for this like specific clip. I use a L uh, yeah L1 to aim with my gun just because that one feels easier with it. Over there. So and uh, and for combat in this game, if uh, generally the best way to kill someone <laughs> is uh, just to blind fire while running towards them. So that's what I'll be doing most of the run. Oh, can we get the T-pose? Oh yeah, sometimes uh, Drake will go into a T-pose here for no there reason. We. There it is. <laughs> let him get past. Oh, so yeah, like these enemies don't usually do too much damage, so I just run past them. And then uh, this Lost hallway up here is pretty dangerous. It's just, I don't know, some enemies seem to be way more accurate than others, and sometimes <laughs> these will just hit me from like the opposite side of the planet. Yeah, when I was learning this game, uh, a little while ago, this was the the room and hallway that walled me for a little bit over half an hour. And it's just like four guys, but they're organized in such a way that it's hard to get through there, killing all of them and not getting killed in like in return. Just keep your head down. And once I kill everyone, I, I if I restart checkpoint, it kind of teleports me ahead, like so it probably saves like five seconds. There's a few places in the game like that where I'll restart just to because it puts me ahead of where I am. And when he died too. Yep. So as a as I transition from combat running speed and a normal running speed, you'll see me like jump and then stop jumping, and it's all intentional. Right, and here, um, these guys are beating me up, so I'm gonna restart checkpoint because it despawns a couple of them. <laughs> and also, at any point in the run when you die, it's faster to restart from checkpoint than to wait for the uh, dying animation to finish. Especially in a situation where you know you're going to die, but haven't died yet. You can shave off. Uh, well, you wouldn't be shaving off, but you can, you can make up a couple seconds by just re manually restarting a checkpoint. Yeah. Stay with me. So there's just three more guys at the end of this, and then that's the end of uh, chapter three. Probably my least favorite, because you actually do what you're supposed to do in this chapter, which is no fun. <laughs> We have a $20 donation from Shane. Thank you, Oven Donkey, for finally convincing me to run Mirror's Edge. Let's see if AGDQ can hit two million this year. My map on a burning plane. Plane is missing. Um, dead. All right, so this is beginning of chapter four. Uh, this is a pretty great chapter to see the speedrun of because uh, this is a really annoying chapter with how much combat there is. And uh, I'm gonna skip, I think, all of it. I think I, I actually, I'll shoot like maybe four people. And there's, there's probably like 50 in this chapter normally. There's a treasure here. I'm gonna pick up this treasure just because uh, it'll probably annoy people if I don't. There's really no reason to though. 
because I'll be standing up here until I clip through this wall. We did that for all the OCD people out there. Yeah, there we go. That so, wall can be a bit of a pain to clip through because yeah. it likes to bounce you in and out of it. Yep. And uh, as you saw, um, if you walk underneath water in this game, it'll pick you up to the water's surface. And uh, I think this is the only Uncharted game that does that, unfortunately. If it did that on Uncharted 2, it would be pretty nice. Also, this game forces six axis controls. Everyone loves those. We have a $50 donation from Symptom. Oh god, is it time for another AGDQ already? My poor wallet. Well, probably the first of at least a few donations. Keep up the great work. One thing I should probably mention about this chapter is that uh, because I'm skipping everything, I don't actually hit any checkpoints until a few minutes into it. So if uh, something terrible happened and I died, I'd be back to the very beginning of this chapter. Uh, and so for that reason, I'm actually going to uh, go a little bit out of the way to get a checkpoint, just because that is really unsafe for a marathon run. <laughs> this is the worst jump in the game. Yeah, um, this is a not like, that's just a normal jumping skip, and it's way more awkward than it looks. I feel like uh, it's hard to explain a lot of the, the clips in this game because of how fast they come. And uh, it, I don't know, this game is weird. So just if you see me clipping or doing anything, just assume that I'm skipping something important. <laughs> this is another unintentional jumping skip. Yeah. You're not supposed to be able to jump to that broken wall, but you can. So. And then right here is a checkpoint. That's the first one I've hit in this chapter. So if I, if I kill myself up here, it shouldn't be a big problem. And we should see our first enemies up here. But they don't see us, so. Oh, way to prove me wrong for the first time. They don't always see you. I'll just kill these two, because they can be annoying. I do like how the enemy dialogue specifically proved me wrong. Like, <laughs> as soon as I said they don't see you, he shouted, he's over there. This, I really don't like this climbing section because sometimes Nathan Drake here will just not grab into something. He'll just like jump against a wall and then fall down and die. And there's really nothing that you can do about it, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Just a thing about this game. Also, any enemies that spawn on top of the waterfall and shoot down at the player, they do a lot more damage than regular enemies do. So normally we kill them, but Donkey's going for uh, courage strats. Right. And extreme courage that strats. Good. That was a good jump. <laughs> You're not supposed to make that jump. That was good. This game and all Uncharted games are full of really convenient platforms, and uh, this is one of them. The truck happened to land there. And then it falls. Wait, right after you get off of it. <laughs> So there are a couple more enemies that spawn on top of this waterfall that I'll, I'm actually going to. I'll, I'll get rid of one of them because uh, they. I don't know what it is about those enemies. Like he said, they just like. Yeah, right there. Two shots. They three shots so that were basically though. dead. So. Yeah. No. Oh, almost, almost. Get around the corner. No. Oh, pretty close. <laughs> oh, there we go. Very good. <laughs> yeah. And I swear his bullets like curve around corners, like. Wanted. Yeah, like from wanted. He's probably the inspiration for that movie. <laughs> we have a $25 donation from Sig. Good luck to Runner Guy in the blindfolded run. And for everyone watching, even a few dollars can help. Donate what you can. I can end this cutscene a little bit earlier by restarting checkpoint. Um, because I'm playing with a save file, I, I can't restart checkpoint until it auto saves, which is really the only reason why it's slower to play with a save file, but it is a lot safer. That right there, I believe, is, uh, at least for me, the hardest uh, backwards wall clip in the game. Just before we came in here, I was playing this game in the other room, and I was stuck on that for probably 15 minutes. This is probably my favorite section of the run. Oh, yeah. Because, <laughs> like, so many things are just funny, like that barbed wire trap that he went So, uh, everyone watching, it's, uh, okay. it's, it's about time for our, our dance break, dance party break. <laughs> So once we get up around this corner, um, we're gonna take a couple seconds to appreciate the beautiful graphics in this game with a little bit of a dance party. 
Yeah, the foliage gets pretty excited. I don't know if you, I don't know how noticeable it is, but I don't know why they just kind of shake around. Um, and also, when I clipped out of bounds back there, I, I shot a couple times to get the enemies to attack me so that I would have my combat running speed. So I get to run fast here. I do enjoy going fast. And uh, there's supposed to be like a giant fortress up ahead of me that is not there yet. And probably my favorite glitch in the entire game is on this. And it might take me a few tries to get it because it's pretty random, but I'm going to get it because it's, it's pretty much the best thing. It's absolutely worth it. So. I would consider, <laughs> even if this run were a new world record, I would consider it a failure if this skip was not in it. So there's this vine here, and there's something about this vine that just doesn't work right. And I'm going to jump against this until something happens. Pretty so amazing. We'll see how long it takes. There it is. Oh, second <laughs> try. <laughs> so I don't know why that happens, but <laughs> it happens. It's called the vine launch. Um, you could probably guess why. And I have to wait till this room loads, or uh, I can't continue the level all the way. We have a $30 donation from Swirly. Thanks to Oven Donkey for introducing me to speedrunning with his Mirror Edge tutorials. Good luck on the run. So we come up there to trigger a, uh, a, a checkpoint. Check yep. Just because it, it makes the rest of the room easier some way, I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if, you, if I like didn't explain this, it probably wouldn't make any sense what I'm doing. Because I have to go up there to get a checkpoint, because I need it to finish the level. And then there's supposed to be a big fight in this room, which is probably like one of the most annoying, annoying fights in the whole game. And uh, the way to skip it is I have to clip into this room, because then it flags the fight as complete. And then I have to clip back into the room, because it allows me to use this. <laughs> and if I don't open this gate, um, there's no way to finish this chapter. I just have to do it. <laughs> also, if you were a fan of video gaming back in the uh, PlayStation 2 days, you may notice that the room we're in right now and the room uh, we were previously in are lifted almost uh, like foot for foot from uh, the Prince of Persia, the Sands of Time. It, it even includes like these, these winches to open floodgates. Yeah, yeah. so using uh, these things on the sides of the room, it raises the water level. And we have not found a way out of the room without raising the water level yet. Maybe someday it'll happen. Uh, this game has been developing pretty quickly. The universal clip through walls glitch was found like three months ago, maybe. And that's really what uh, made this game fun to run again. Oh yeah, because the old method of clipping through walls could only be done in one direction and was a oh, major okay. pain because it was very slow. We will be seeing that exactly once later. Um, and we'll be sure to point out the old method. We have a $1.95 donation, putting what's left on my card for a good cause. Thanks for being awesome. Watching from a little country in Central America, greetings from El Salvador, from Dave M. So uh, there's a fight coming up here that uh, is probably one of the worst parts of the run for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's like a really fast way to do it that is completely random. And uh, by the way, if I shoot at that guy in the turret, he runs away and doesn't attack me, so that's why I do that. I don't know why, but... Um, but yeah, so there's a nice. fight up here. Nice, good job. And uh, so I can either run past all the enemies here and I'll live, uh, but if luck is not on my side today, I'll have to kill them all very slowly, and it, it really is terrible. Side note, uh, this man here that we just shot once and then left in his pain, uh, his name is Hank. He named him. So we'll see. Oh, they're, that's a really bad enemy pattern. Ooh, oh. Yeah, that happens like more than half the time. It's, it's completely luck based and I can either try that again and try possibly again. waste more time do it, do it again. or uh, stand back. But you know, I'll try it again. Do it again. Everyone say hi to Hank. Uh, oh, that's better. That's a better pattern. I think there we're we good. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that is a that's a really scary area. That, like <laughs> that'll end most of my runs that I do of this game, just because the enemies suck in this game <laughs> a lot. I think damage done to you is completely random from my experience. That's just what it seems. 
we have a $50 donation from Gant's Best Manga. Here's my first donation to a great runner. The two guys, one controller, Mirror's Edge run. The last marathon was crazy. Can't wait for Mirror's Edge 2. Hype. And I, uh, I restarted Checkpoint there because it skips a cutscene. Uh, so that, that's all that was. Probably like 10 seconds saved. We have a $100 donation from Douglas. Finally, me having a full-time job and AGDQ coincide at the same time. Time to help prevent cancer. That's a bit of an awkward jump. Drake doesn't like to really go? cooperate. Nice. And that's okay. a blind that's, jump. That's a pretty hard jump. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> like <laughs> Jinx it. You only admit a jump is hard after it's complete. You can't let it know that you're afraid of it. We have an $80 donation from Anthony. I've been watching the games done quick. Teams do amazing work for the past three years, and I want to keep seeing more work get done. Witwix needs a challenge for the cheetah with Cheetah Man. Let's make this go 100%. I want to be the Bashi. So what were you looking for? So the next chapter in this game is just, it's like you're, it's a vehicle section where you stand in a car and shoot at people for a while, and it's, it's just an auto-scroller, and so, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice break in the run, like halfway through, at least. And um, interestingly enough, uh, if you've played the Uncharted games, uh, as you know, you kill a, like a ton of people throughout the series. There's no question about that. You're like a massacre. <laughs> yeah, and um, even though I skip almost all of the combat in this game, I'm still gonna kill about 140 people in this speed run, and I think about 70 of them are from this chapter alone. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty great. And uh, I'm just gonna be in this car for a while. So if you wanna read donations, but, this is another. Uh, real, real quick, I just need to point out that. Uh, we can appreciate Nathan Drake's power stance here in the back of the car. He's looking a little bit like a uh, 1980s rock star. That's true. Um, yeah, so this is a good donation time. We are currently pending donations, but I will give a shout out to one of our sponsors, the Yeti. Uh, the Yeti is a t-shirt site featuring an awesome new design every 24 hours with a low price. Yeti has partnered with us at AGDQ 2015, offering an array of shirts with $3 from each shirt sold going to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Check them out at www.theyeti.com slash games done quick. The Yeti is spelled P-H-E-Y-E-E-E. -E -E. So especially on easy mode, uh, there's basically nothing that's at all threatening in this chapter, with one very large exception. And even that's very easy to avoid, but uh, you'll see it when it happens. Another shout out to another one of our sponsors, Turtle Beach. Turtle Beach transforms your gaming world with a selection of cutting edge technologies, creating a product that completes your high definition gaming experience and puts you a step up on the standard headset competition. Check them out at turtlebeach.com. Oh man, it's a throwback. Yeah. Pr press up twice. Oh, now press yeah. over. I'm, I'm speedrunning Uncharted for the very first time. <laughs> Uh, shoot that again. Oh. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> I think I'm gonna take over. Now. The only, the, the only danger in the in the chapter. That, that's I'm like. retiring from Uncharted. <laughs> oh God. Oh. God. <laughs> I think I'm gonna retire too. You want to take over? No. Don't do it. <laughs> I think I could handle shooting a truck, but I'm not sure. Third time's the charm. I made it past. That's actually the hardest part of the game. I think. <laughs> So it's have, basically the final boss, everything else is credits. So we have a $100 donation from Phil Safer. You guys are awesome. My father won his battle against thyroid cancer. So here's to more victories. No victories for the animals though, Kappa. Kill them.
just like to give out another shout out to one of our sponsors, Tiny Build. Tiny Build Games is an indie developer warped into an indie publisher. They partnered up with indies across the world to help better their games, as well as develop games themselves. Check them out at tinybuild.com and check out their entire, check out their game Speedrunners, which is available in the AGDQ 2015 Humble Bundle. Yeah, Oven Donkey and I will, will play Speedrunners every once in a while, and it's a very fun game. It is, comes highly recommended. And yeah, this is the end of the vehicle section after this cutscene. And then uh, go back to uh, clipping through walls and stuff. It's pretty much this whole game. By the way, if you, uh, if you go for the trophies in this game, you do get the difficulty trophies with these glitches, so it makes crushing a lot easier. We have a $100 donation from Coots Magoots. Lost my aunt to cancer, happy to donate in her memory. Also, shout out to Ray from Achievement Hunter. Shout out to that guy. Whoever that is. That was startling, but I liked it. We have a $75 donation from Professor Peng Loss. First time watching live? Super happy to be donating to a good cause. Lost two grandparents to cancer. Let's beat this thing. So this is the first of the jet ski sections. There are three in the game, but I'll, I'll uh, only be doing two of them. And they're pretty terrible um, for a speed run because I don't really kill anyone and there's a lot of enemies around. And so I'm, I'm really vulnerable to their bullets right now. I should be fine. I mean, uh, it's, it's unlikely to die here, but it happens. And I, I'm good. This is the end of it. And once you get out of there, um, it forces you to drive really slow here, unless you restart checkpoint. Then you can drive normal speed. We have a $25 donation from Quincy Chalmers. My first GDQ. Awesome. My wife's sister had childhood leukemia. She survived. And today is a mother of two. I support the research and thank you, runners. Pump for OOT blindfolded. Um, you saw just before we got off the jet ski, um, Oven Donkey shot exactly uh, one shot at the stairs. That allows you to keep your combat running speed off of the jet ski. No Saves idea why, because you're not in combat, but it counts. Also, um, you probably have no idea what's going on right now. I just <laughs> skipped from uh, chapter 8 to chapter 11. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. Your eyes were not uh, deceiving you. We were hanging onto the edge of the water. You can do that in this game. The mirror's edge. <laughs> uh, so technically, I'm running through chapter 10 right now, but there's nothing here, so I just kind of counted as chapter 11. Also, if I die here, I, I don't even want to say it, but the game will soft lock and it's really bad. <laughs> so let's hope that doesn't happen. Don't miss the jump. And that just means like, <laughs> it'll all get stuck in my like death and it won't respawn me because the game has no idea where I am right now. We have a $10 donation from you, me, you. Very cool what you are all doing. I'll throw in another $20 if the guy on the left recites the alphabet backwards. Who's the guy on the left? Is that I don't you? know. I don't know which way the <laughs> camera is facing. Yeah. It'd be you. you. Go ahead. You got this. Um, I used to be able to know how to... I, I used to know how to do that, but I don't. But um, this is the old method of clipping through walls. <laughs> uh, you can only do it going to uh, the right, and it's very strenuous on both the controller and the person holding the controller. That's true. Um, I do that here because if I clip with our normal method there, it'll spawn like a billion enemies and it's really bad. <laughs> so yeah, that's what the run used to be, taking cover and moving left and right so for like an hour and 20 minutes and <laughs> Wait, it was terrible. <laughs> I don't recommend trying it. We have a $20 donation from Tofu Boy 1986 Greetings from Australia. My friend's son has cancer and has been doing treatment for the better part of a year. Being able to help by donating makes me feel good. Here's to another great AGDQ. We have a $25 donation from Jesse Quatrin, longtime watcher, first time donator. Let's see if we can save the animals while curing cancer. 
And we have a $10 donation from Emma. I never knew Uncharted could be broken in such a good and fast way. Kudos. And I'd really like to uh, give a shout out to uh, Silence Erupts, who is the guy that found the clip through walls that we use. He's a pretty great guy. He's done a really great service. <laughs> And, and it's entirely due, uh, due to him that this game is a fun speed run. We have a $30 donation from Hitoshura, Zero, and Headache Queen. I'm sitting here losing my stuff when Nathan Drake decides to just clip through walls. It's tons of fun. Also, let's kill them animals. We need a barbecue. Uh, so this is a pretty bad section for a speedrun because of how random it is. Uh, basically, I, I can drive and uh, I don't want to slow down because this is a speedrun and I, I can blind fire with Elena and she never has to reload. So I just drive through this and I keep firing with her and hope that she shoots all the explosive barrels before I run into them. And sometimes she's really, really bad at it. <laughs> and uh, so... It's random whether or not she'll hit those, and it's also random with how much damage enemies will do to me, because I'll be driving past a lot of them. So this is uh, not a great chapter, in my opinion. But yeah, just get used to uh, this for the next minute or so. Just a quick mention about Twitch subscriptions. Keep in mind that 100% of your subscription money will go to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. And another word from our sponsors, Something Artistic. Somethingartistic.net offers decals and stickers made to decorate your consoles, walls, computers, and more. $2 uh, from every decal sold this week is being donated directly to the Prevent oh. Cancer Foundation. That was close. I need some help here. Technically, it's a co-op run. So, he, he's steering and I'm shooting, so... I suppose I'm Elena in the partnership. I think, uh, I think we're good. That should be the end of it. I uh, took very little damage there, so I, I got pretty lucky. It does not usually happen. But yeah, that should be it for the jet ski section, and we're moving on to chapter 13. Which is, you know, pretty, there's some cool skips in this right. chapter. Okay, let's head up to the monastery Hopefully and see I what's going on. So I just have to hope that these enemies here don't kill me before I can flip through this gate. Uh, which seems like I should be fine, yep. I'm not getting attacked very much. I like that. <laughs> Would you slow down? Yeah, on a, g generally, uh, I prefer not getting shot to getting shot. <laughs> I could probably agree with you on that one. We have a $20 donation from Eigen Vector. It's okay. I can't recite the alphabet backwards either. <laughs> uh, so I went off the path there to grab a gun because uh, there, are, there are two actually difficult fights in this game. One of them was that hallway fight that I died on once, and the next one's coming up in a little while. And if I don't have that gun, it is a lot harder to do. Uh, I'm trying to clip through these little trees, but there we go. We have a $100 donation from Michael Neely. My sister had a cancer scare a few years back. She's okay, thankfully, but it drives home the point that cancer can affect anyone. I can't help but give to a great cause. Good luck to all the speedrunners at the event. Once I get through that door um, and I restart checkpoint, it kind of it puts me uh, a floor above where I was, which is where I need to be. And that also skips, like, a full chapter, because you're not supposed to get behind that door. 
effect. I don't think you're supposed to do anything I'm doing in this game right now. Is there still a donation incentive for this game? I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. We have a $150 donation from Nazaman Che. We have lost three close family members to cancer over the last nine years. So here's some cash for fighting the good fight and saving them animals. <laughs> the world take a, takes a little bit to, to catch up. Yeah. So I, I was just in chapter 13 like a minute ago, and now I'm in chapter 15, and I'm about to start 16. <laughs> so um, these, the, like, the last like 12 chapters go really quickly. We have a $10 donation from all Anon 6666. I love what you guys are doing. I lost my great aunt a number of years ago to cancer. She had lung cancer, but no one caught it until it had spread throughout her entire body. Worst part was, she wasn't a smoker. I hope you guys are able to raise a ton of money, and I want to see those secret stages for Battle Block Theater. I think this is the only puzzle we do in the game, if you want to call this a puzzle. And uh, you just kind of turn some symbols. It's, uh... And you reveal a secret door to... Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we have a $35 donation from Connor. I lost my best friend's dad to lung cancer back in 2010. I was oh, as close no to him as my own father. After that, my friend slipped into a drug addiction. It was one of the toughest periods of my life. Today, my friend has surpassed his addiction. I'm so proud of him. It just shows that cancer affects more than just the one that has it. Thank you, AGDQ, for everything. Kick cancer's butt. Also, tell Ray and Tina behind the couch that Connor says they rock. <laughs> he said thank you. We have a $100 donation from RNC1839. I don't want this cash. It is better off with you guys. Haikus are tricky. Also, that was the world's most solid chain. It doesn't move a single inch as you climb it. Uh, if you jump out from behind cover like that and you mash the jump button, you'd like jump off the air. I think that's the only time that's actually used because it's not really that useful, except for right there. And I, this is one of the few cutscenes that you cannot skip, so we get to we get to watch this one. It has really bad voice acting just for this one line. Last man alive gets the gold. You lose. Kill them both. So yeah, this is the uh, difficult fight. Uh, I really don't like it, but hopefully it's okay. Elena will help out by shoving her torch through her own torso. Yep, and uh, there are a couple guys with grenade launchers here that will kill me in one hit. So I have to try not to get hit by those. But they don't usually spawn until I move, like, forward from here. So I'll try to kill a bunch of people first. There's Elena. <laughs> Alright, there's the grenade launcher. Not anymore. Yeah, this, they, $50 um, donation from Best in Slot. Come on, Twitch chat wants that backwards alphabet. <laughs> I'm very sorry to disappoint you, Twitch chat. <laughs> they don't probably, perform well under pressure. They're probably all just spamming it right now. You can just spam a lot of uh, gray face. And right. that'll, that'll make up for it. How about once the Twitch chat does it, each, each person does one letter backwards, then we'll do it. But it has to be in order without breaking sequence. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Knowing Twitch chat, they're gonna start counting down from 10. <laughs> so uh, here, I just kind of run through this level. I don't even think in casual play there's any reason to kill these guys, because they will never kill you unless you just stand still. We have a $25 donation from Olio Zen Games. You are all amazing. Twenty-five more dollars if Ray yells, "Let's play." You want a microphone for it? I don't. It'll be loud. Let's play. 
There's got to be a way out of here. Climb on. What does this look like? Oh, you're heavier than you look. Voice or something. You reach it? Mm -hmm. We have a $20 donation from Tiny Looks Bubble. Like my dad was recently diagnosed with colon cancer, and I think it's really awesome that things like AGDQ exist. Thanks for everyone running and donating. Oh, I see a tunnel. We can get out. We're just gonna jump in this hole. Now, this is where we're introduced to the uh, Descendants, which are these weird naked guys, and uh, I don't know. They're they're just there. If you if you pay attention to the story of this game. It kind of makes sense. I think they're like Maybe. secret underground Nazis or something, but <laughs> it was never really... I haven't played this game for real in like 10 years, so... Damn. Yeah. Totally um, rusted. I don't know, there's like a cursed treasure that turns you into like slimy naked guys. Oh yeah, it's like the big like sarcophagus thing. I remember now. We have a $50 donation from Costcat. My mom just recovered from kidney cancer that was caught early. He survived, but the animals shouldn't. Kill the animals. Love you, Mom. <laughs> Kill the animals. Love you, Mom. HDQ. <laughs> we also have a fifty-dollar donation from Morgan. Two million hype. So you may have noticed a little bit that. Um, Especially with subtitles on, it's easy to see that there is a little bit of crass language in this game. And while this is a, a, a G-rated stream and we, we don't like to use that kind of language here, we do have a swear jar, and since no one from Naughty Dog is here to cash in on the swear jar, I will be expecting a donation. <laughs> oh yeah, um, something about this is that uh, in the tunnel up above me, there is always a chance of the game freezing in every playthrough anyone ever does of this game. And the, I don't know why, it's just part of the game. And the, uh, the only way we've found to stop that from happening is to try pausing repeatedly at a certain point in this tunnel. And uh, so I'm gonna do that, and the game might still freeze, but hopefully it doesn't. I would like to uh, not have to deal with that. So I'm gonna start pausing here. Uh, this is necessary, I, I promise. I think I'm good here. So it didn't freeze. That's good news. Um, I don't know why that happened. I had uh, someone talk to me the other day who said he was a, a QA tester for this game. So, I mean, if, uh, if he was telling the truth, which I have no reason to believe he's not, um, Naughty Dog knew about that freeze, but they didn't know what caused it, so they never fixed it. And um, nice. also, I just started chapter 18, <laughs> which is the chapter where you go into the Nazi bunker and learn what's actually going on, and you fight a bunch of naked, slippery people. And, uh, but I don't feel like doing any of that, especially because it's really scary and I don't want to, you know, get, be scared during my speed run. So I just skipped ahead to chapter 20. That whole chapter <laughs> is too spooky. We have a $50 donation from Thur for second. Sully, come in. My uncle had cancer. It uh, doesn't look good for him, but at least he got healed from donations like yours. I want to thank you very much for every donation. So at this point, we're almost done with the game. We just have like a few minutes left. Um, I, this is a one point where I'm really happy we can clip through walls because two of the most annoying fights in the game are out here in this courtyard and inside the church, and I don't have to do either of them, which makes me really happy. <laughs> So we're just gonna back clip here like usual, but we're gonna come out on the other side in uh, Resident Evil 4, I believe. <laughs> we have a $57.50 .50 donation from Carter. First time watching AGDQ live after binge watching a bunch of previous years on YouTube. One of my cousins recently lost her husband to uh, an aggressive form of bone cancer, and earlier detection might have given him a chance to survive. There's a hole here somewhere. <laughs> Hopefully fundraisers oh, like this oh, oh, and, there we go. <laughs> and organizations like Prevent Cancer Foundation can one day prevent other people from having to experience the same tragedy. Putting this towards finishing off the Zelda 2 glitch percent incentive. Thanks to all the runners for putting on this great fundraiser. Look, I know it sounds crazy. You just gotta trust me. 
We have a $20 donation from Zetonic. Hi, both my grandmother and my great-grandmother had cancer. Both got through it. By the way, what is this kill save the animals thing? My first AGDQ. So after I get up here, we're on the last chapter of the game, which is pretty short. So, uh, <laughs> we should be done here pretty soon. We have a $17 donation from Sox. Thanks for showing me how broken this game is. So this is the last chapter, so time will be coming up in just a couple of seconds. Yeah, well, um, well, it's maybe, more, more like a minute, but yeah. I just want to make sure that we're on point. Okay. So oh, no. I think my camera moved there, but no, no big deal. Yep, there's two more clips and then the final boss, and then we're done. There we go. If I don't stand there for a second like I just did, the, uh, the boss will just one-shot me from, like, the sky. Oh, you're not doing the clip? Yeah, I'm just go this way. Get to do a cool roll. Yeah, same difference. So yeah, once I'm up here, uh, the, the boss guy attacks me, and it's just quick time events pretty much. I hit him six times, and then it's over. So after I hide from him behind these boxes, I'm just going to beat him up a little bit. We have a $20 donation from Phantasma Luna. My first time watching Games Done Quick Live. Thanks for being awesome and supporting Greek cause. All right, so yeah, we're coming up on time and just a little bit. Yep, there's three more hits on this guy and then we're at time. All right, and time. 5102. That's pretty good. Just so everyone knows, uh, world record is 48 minutes and 51 seconds. And, uh, by me. <laughs> and uh, playing with a save file, I probably lose like a minute throughout the run. So that is actually pretty close to it. So I, I guess that was a good run. So. Can't be uh, unhappy with that. Adios, asshole. Oh, that's the cursed treasure. I don't think we've seen it yet, but there it goes. It's in the ocean piece. now. Rip and kill. Though strangely enough, you can find it in the uh, in the museum at the beginning of Uncharted 2. I don't know how they got it back, but they did. <laughs> I didn't know that. Where did they find his body? With the treasure? <laughs> and uh, Sully found a boat. Somewhere. We have a $20 donation from Fooly. Yeah, yes. Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L A K J I H D F E D C B A. Yeah, well, you had a screen to read it off of. I thought you might miss this. We also have a $20 donation from Wash Six. I hope so. I recited the alphabet for you. The donation is for Lynn Haraway, cancer survivor. Shout out to Rocky. Are you awake yet? Thanks, AGDQ. LOT blindfolded run. Yeah, that was uh, that was Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Pretty cool speedrun, actually. It's a lot of fun. It's not hard to learn in case anyone's looking for a new game to speedrun, by the way. Yeah, I, I learned it in about an hour and a half earlier today, so. Yep. And uh, Uncharted 2 is a, also a pretty cool speedrun, so maybe maybe someone will do that someday. You could maybe we'll see that. that next year. Who knows? It's about twice as long, but it's just as glitchy as this one. And uh, uh, oh, I, this is this cutscene is longer than I thought it was. I was gonna make a little mention Sorry, of uh, a, a mistake Sully no, is making right now. Right. Know the other stories. You still only one. So I think. Uh, Next is uh, my friend Skate over here playing Infamous, so you should all stick around for that. Infamous Festival of Blood. It's the one with the vampires in it. Yeah. And also, Sully, there's, there's nothing over there. Sully, turn around. Sully, Sully. <laughs> Sully, there's not enough food on this boat to go all the way across the ocean. Sully, stop. <laughs> they got gold, though. Off of it. They'll just eat the gold. It's all chocolate candy. 